In order to build a standard balloon rocket, the required materials include a circular shaped balloon, a long piece of yarn, a straw, and some tape. The first step is to take your straw and cut it down a little bit because it's too long for the rocket to be able to move down your yarn and it just makes it easier for the balloon rocket to travel. Next, you'll take your yarn that you may have already measured out to be 10 to 15 feet long or that you've measured out to be the distance between your apparatus, whichever one. Next, you'll take that yarn that you've measured and you'll take one end and bring it through your straw so that in the end the straw will have yarn on both sides. Once you get that yarn through, then you will take one end of it and tie it to a sturdy uh, material. And for my demonstration, I used a chair. However, you can also use a door handle, anything that won't move, that will just stay still. And you want to tie it tightly. And once you have that piece tied on, you'll take the other end of your string and tie it to a distant but also sturdy material. Once again, I've used a chair and you can use another door handle or anything that's not going to move. And you want to make sure that where you tie it at is equidistant so that your yarn won't be tilted. And you also want to make sure that when you tie it to the other side that it is extremely tight because it makes the balloon not go as well if your string is loose. And if it isn't tight, then there's a chance that your balloon rocket will fall. Afterwards, you'll take the circular balloon and you'll blow it up, which is the maximum air capacity or how much air you want to put in it. And you make sure that once you blow it up that you don't tie the ends because you're going to need that the air from the balloon and to propel the rocket. Next, you'll take a piece of tape and you'll tape the balloon to the straw because the straw is what's going to get the balloon to move when the air is released. Once you've taped it on there, You'll pull the balloon to a starting point and let it go. The previous video was just a demonstration on how to build a typical balloon rocket. However, to make it a true experiment, you would need to find an optimization goal that will make your experiment better or make the original experiment better. My optimization goal is speed. I want to make a faster balloon rocket. In order to make that optimization goal realistic, you would need to test three independent factors that would affect the original experiment to reach optimization goal. The three independent factors that I'm testing are the type of string used, the type of balloon used, and the angles of the string between the two sturdy points. As you can see in the picture, I'm using a thinner string, the original yarn, and a bungee cord. And for the balloons, I'm using the original circular balloon, and then I've got an elongated water balloon. And then I would take those strings in different angles to test it to find a better speed. Using the circular balloon, I will be taking the three different types of string, the yarn, the thin string, and the bungee cord, all going horizontally to test the speed of the balloon rocket. Using the demonstration method, I retested the circular balloon in the yarn and it came out to be a speed of 0.71 seconds. Using the thinner string, I retested the circular balloon horizontally and received a speed of 0.58 seconds. Retesting the experiment again horizontally, using a bungee cord, I received a speed of 0.95. Using the elongated balloon, I tested the three types of string going horizontally to see the speed that it created. Redoing the demonstration experiment, I replaced the circular balloon with the elongated balloon, still using the yarn, and received a speed of 0.35 seconds. Replacing the yarn, still using the elongated balloon, I received a speed of 0.31. The bungee cord tested at 0.71. Next, I decided to test the circular balloon using the three different types of string. However, this time the string will be at a diagonal angle. 
The circular balloon in the yarn tested at 1.19 seconds. The string in the circular balloon tested at 0.85 seconds. The bungee cord and the circular balloon tested at 0.68. For this portion of the experiment, I will be testing the elongated balloon going diagonally. The elongated balloon in the yarn tested at 0.61 seconds. The elongated balloon in the thin string tested at 0.43 seconds. The elongated balloon and the bungee cord tested at 0.68 seconds. For this portion of the experiment, I'll be testing the circular balloon going vertical. The circular balloon going vertical tested at 0.99 seconds on the yarn. On the thin thread, the circular balloon tested at 0.43 seconds. On the bungee cord, the circular balloon tested at 1.88. For the final experiment, I'll be testing the elongated balloon going vertical. On the yarn, the balloon tested at 0.78. On the thin string, the balloon tested at 0.75. On the bungee cord, the balloon tested at 1.13. Based on the data from the experiment, it was determined that the fastest rocket was comprised of the thinnest string, the elongated balloon, and it was going horizontally. The speed that it was tested at was 0.31, which was the fastest speed out of all the tests in the experiment.